Carmen Dancio, International Bounty Hunter. I have a little sideline for you if you're interested. This country is crawling with wanted terrorists. Terrorists with a price on their heads. Aruko is known as a safe haven for crazies. That's what I'm doing here. I have reliable information that there could be as many as three or four of them hiding out in this country at this very moment. You get any of them for me, and I'm willing to split the reward with you. I have everything you need to know right here. Study it carefully. You need to find me? I'm usually in the northern part of the country. I feel more comfortable near the border or the airport. Oh, one other thing. They are not wanted alive. I'll need their heads as proof that the deed's been done. Shouldn't be too distasteful for you. You are a mercenary. Got it! I'm Frank, keeper of the ale for whatever ails you. I meet all kinds. Some are more interesting than others. I won't be far if <laughs> Liquor license? We don't need no freaking liquor license. Yeah, sure right. Think it out a bit. Surrounded by booze or bullets? It really ain't worth asking. Welcome to my establishment. I am one of the De Santos bartending brothers. We are famous al Ruko wide for our drinks. I believe you know of us. My brother has spoken of you. The soldiers who are going to save al Ruko. I tell you, we wish you the best of luck cleaning out the mess this country is in. Yes, you are not the first to notice that we look very similar. I do not understand, since the differences are obvious to me. Mickey O'Brien's the name. Pleasure to meet ya. You. you look a wee bit familiar. Did I not run into you in me gun running days? Aye, a nasty business that was. Just to be scraping together nickels and dimes here and there. Stumbled upon something a wee bit more lucrative. Animals and their parts. The Asians and bloody collectors pay a fortune for the rare gems of the animal kingdom. And not a bloody one of them is armed at that. I was just passing through, seeing if I could bag myself a couple of elusive blood cat pelts. Those felines can only be found in a Rolko, you know. Aye, if you be finding yourself possessing anything I might be looking for, you come a-calling. I be giving you top dollar for it. You can find me in one of the bars. You might even find me still in this one. Could I interest you in buying a poor, thirsty brother-in-arms a drink? Aye, too many Brits down here, I be telling you. They drink up what's better left for a proper Irishman. Aye, it's not really me line of work. You got something for me? Aye. The best liquor around. Only number one brand names. You need enough. Aye, a wee something to quail the nerves. Got it.
Well, I got dibs. That's all I'm saying. Only kidding, of course. You aren't going to find anything around here that I haven't already seen. Spend my days sifting through this dump. I have to keep laughing. Try to keep a smile on my face. No point in dwelling over one situation. I eat what I find, find what I eat. Wasn't always like that, but, well, what can I do? The army burned down my home four years ago. Everything I had was in it, including my family. They took my whole life from me in less than five minutes. I got no purpose now. Just wandering around, trying to survive, and wondering why I bother. Now, if that Deedrana were to get what's coming to her, then that would be worth staying alive for. Good luck to you. You're pretty darn close to finishing the job you come to do. And when you finally do meet her, I want you to put one right between the Queen's eyes for me. Well, it's just like fishing. You never know what you're going to find in the junkyard. Some days you come up empty, other times I get me a prize. Well, I ain't get... Well... Awful kind of you. Why, thank you. Here, I, I got something for you, too. Don't quite know exactly what it is, but maybe you can find some use for it. Feel free to browse. Only the finest quality leathers are available in my shop. If I can be of any help, my name is Angel. I have a very unique item for sale. It is something I believe might interest you. A Kevlar treated leather vest. Very fashionable, yet extremely practical. I could let it go for, say, $950. And how will you be... Thank you. I am sure you'll be satisfied with your purchase. The vase is extremely durable. It will no doubt last you a lifetime. I am going to put my faith in you. You seem trustworthy, and I sense this may be my only chance. I moved to Samona and opened this leather shop so I could be close to the shady lady brothel where she is being forced to work. She once was a very innocent and naive girl. I fear that is no longer the case. I beg you to rescue her, to free her from the brothel, and to bring her back here to me. I will give you everything I own. I can't afford to pay you cash, but I know where you can find some. However, you must be careful. The shady lady is owned by King Payne. If he knows it was you who spirited her away, or you engage his men in battle, he will kill us all. Welcome to the Shady Lady. I am Madame Layla, your hostess. I'm sure you will find something, or rather, someone here that will catch your fancy. My girls were all chosen with creating a wide selection in mind. Maria is one of our newer girls. She's $400 ahead, a little shy, likes to pretend she doesn't like it. Her room is at the end of the hall. You can be forceful if you like. She likes that, too. I always appreciate someone who knows what they want. Fine. Oh, and by the way, ignore her screaming if it doesn't do anything for you. It's all part of Maria's role-playing side. They call me Billy. Billy liked to sit once in a while, but I'm not allowed. Billy can't talk to you right now. What's there? Got it! I'll 
do what you want. Just don't hurt me. And Gail sent you? We must be careful. If Madame Leila knows why you are here, Mr. Klaus's men will descend upon this place quickly. He is the real owner, and he thinks nothing of human life. This town is also full of off-duty soldiers. The Queen sends them here on leave. Mr. Klaus and Didrana have an arrangement. He operates this town to entertain her army, and she leaves him alone. In exchange, he sometimes assassinates the soldiers she wishes not to return. We must be careful of everyone, or we will not leave this place alive. You meet all kinds. Some of them actually turn out to be worth meeting. Maria, can it be true? God bless you. It is a miracle. It is so good to see you, Maria. I am sorry for all that has happened. We will start over, somewhere safe. Were you able to get away quietly? Will they be looking for us? It is hard to believe I am here with you, Engel. You mustn't worry. Everything went fine. The people you sent to get me were extremely clever and discreet. It is great to see you, Engel. You have done exactly as I asked. I am forever grateful. I no longer have need of this leather shop. It is yours, to do with as you wish. <laughs> Maria has told me in the past that she knows where Mr. Klaus hides his money. It was information I would never dare make use of. You, however, may be capable of stealing from Kingpin and getting away with it. He hides it deep in San Mona's abandoned mine. There must be a fortune there. I don't know how well guarded it is, since few know about it. And those that do, would never cross him. We must be going. Madame Leila and Kingpin will not waste any time in looking for Maria. Got it. Well, who have we here? I hope you're not here to get an eagle on your shoulder. Simply everybody wants the eagle. Boring, boring, boring. They're so passe. The moment I saw you, I saw a wild peacock. A vibrant, multicolored peacock spreading its feathers of manhood across your right buttock. Dancing euphoric, yet sitting determined, declaring its presence. It won't hurt a bit. I promise. I won't be doing tattoos forever, you know. No, my big burly man, Kyle Lemons will one day be the proprietor of his own leather boutique with custom embroidery done by, you know who? Kyle Lemons, artiste. That's why I'm renting this place from Mr. Klaus. I've had my left eye on that leather shop in town, but there's just no convincing that cute little Angel to sell. Oh, maybe one day my dreams will come true. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, stop my panting heart. The deed to Angel's leather shop. Can it be? Oh, why, yes, of course. I'll buy it from you. I'll give you everything I have for it. Got it. Hello there. You should take out the whole bleeding country. Just be letting me know first. No thanks, I've got to complete my study here. Might be worth a look.
Got it. Good to see you. I said I had good life, if you ask me. Never thought me a bartender, but I fancy it now. Bass is slow, blokes are kind, and every so often eh, a pretty lady comes in. Eh? <laughs> ah, right, proper it is. What's there? This mean I bartender now, no? Sudden opening is like dream come true. Might be worth a look. Got it. Good. This little souvenir is going to put money in both of our pockets. I need some time to get the cash together. Nobody thinking right would walk around this country with that kind of money. Give me 24 hours and meet me at the bar in Drassen. I'll need to keep the head. You will just have to trust me. Jackpot! Looks like we've got even more money coming to us. I need some time to get the cash together. Nobody thinking right would walk around this country with that kind of money. Give me 24 hours and meet me at the bar in Drassen. I'll need to keep the head. You will just have to trust me. There's an enemy presence. We have some inconveniences to dispose of. Need assistance here. Stat! Our Father who art in heaven. Bye. 
it in sight. Serious snafu here. Bagged it. Target in sight. Villains. Target in sight. Target dispatched. Visual contact. with the territory. <sighs> Problem solved.
Target dispatched. It's mine. I'm not that good a shot. <laughs> Thank you.
Ready. We have not found everyone. Enemy forces are close. Uh. Ready. till they come out of their hiding spot. The enemy's here. Thumbs up. Ready. Tired of chasing a man? They'll rear their ugly heads soon enough. <laughs> 